What's up guys, Dustin Yui here, and uh, I'm coming with uh, kind of like an E3 wrap up. Um, I wanted to cover E3 a little bit more, but there's literally nothing to cover for NHL uh, 13. Like, literally there was nothing. Um, they just kind of did demonstrations of stuff that we already knew about. Um, so yeah, it's a very short video. I just kind of threw two shootouts in it, and uh, yeah, I don't know really really know um so yeah there is uh the two videos uh, i can put the links in the description uh one was just like ho the hockey iq in depth and the the first one they showed was uh, the true performance skating uh basically the true performance skating we've already seen um it was on the live stream it was basically the exact same videos that they were showing and the skating and stuff so i mean there was really nothing to cover for that video at all absolutely nothing um, the other video was talking about the hockey IQ, um, which I mean there was a little bit to cover, but uh, it's basically just the video. Like they're only like very they're they're very short videos. Um, so basically, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just bringing a shootout, and I'll talk about uh, the IQ videos now. Um, they kind of showed off the goaltending and like how the players play in the new. I guess well they showed the one th the one. Uh, Four one three one, whatever you want to call it, um, the trap that uh, Tampa used on uh, Philadelphia. But uh, anyway, so yeah, he kind of showed that off. Whatever. Um, so I'm just kind of bringing like thoughts about it because honestly, like I thought E3 would have a lot more for NHL 13. All they did was really like, I guess, have a booth and let people play it. So, and there was really no coverage at all. Um, I haven't found any articles or anything um, other than the the videos that EA Sports put up. Um, so yeah, not a whole lot really. Um, so yeah, I'll talk about the the second video because that had a little bit more in it. Um, basically, um, he showed off uh, Jonathan Quick using individual limbs and making saves and stuff, um, which was pretty cool looking. Um, the only concern I had was uh, the very first uh, Jonathan Quick save that they showed. Um, where he dives across the ice on the like kind of cross crease one timer. It wasn't really that crazy, but uh, the the one thing I noticed was like it looked really unnatural how the goalie reacted. Um, yeah, like looked very unnatural um, because like he didn't really anticipate the pass, and when the pass happened, he didn't react to the shot until after the shot was taken. So uh, it was kind of like what? Like I don't. I didn't really grasp why it looked so weird. Um, they showed a Dwayne Rollison where he did like a one-timer, and that looked that looked perfect. That's how a goalie would react. He would kind of anticipate the play and like stay in like a butterfly and slide over and make the save, right? That's how that's how normal goalies work. But the the Jonathan Quick save they showed where it was like a left to right. He he dove for the puck, but there was no need to dive. All he had to do was slide across and glove it, like. And I found that really strange, honestly. Um, so my biggest, well, one of my biggest concerns is like, hopefully the goalies just aren't diving all the time for no reason, you know? I mean, it's cool that they're saving the puck, but there's literally no, there was no point to him like diving there. Um, most times in the NHL, uh, like you'll see like Tim Thomas or like other, you know, other goalies, um, Jonathan Quick or whatever, like they'll dive, but it's normally when the goalie is like when they literally have no chance of making the save like they're completely down and out they'll be like on the ice and it's kind of like oh my gosh and they'll like you know they'll push off the ice and just kind of sprawl across and try and glove it or block it or whatever so that's usually it it's usually when they're like completely out of position but in the demonstration when Jonathan Quick dove across with his stick like, there was absolutely no need for it it's not like he was out of position they're like all he had to do is slide across and glove it. So that's like that was my biggest thing that I noticed um, in the demonstration video. Again, the Rollison one looked good. So like, hopefully they go more towards that. And then the desperation saves are like when the goalie's completely down and out. Like, I don't know. Like if they're completely caught against the post, like you know, and it's like a crazy cross crease. That's when I expect my goalie to dive across and make a save. I don't expect him just on a regular two on one or like a three on two when the pass comes across. I don't want him to dive every time. It'll 
it looks really unrealistic and it's going to get quite annoying seeing goalies dive every shot pretty much because a lot of people do cross creases like nobody's business. Um, the second thing, again, they showed off a 1-3-1 where the, the other team kind of, like he funneled them and then uh, it, just to show off the IQ, how all the players reacted to everyone. Um, but uh, I think it was 7 minutes and 20 seconds if you want to look. Um, but anyways... Um, what I noticed was uh, the the player that gets the pass on the boards and he's coming into the zone so he's got a defenseman on him like he would right so the dif the defenseman's backing up uh, when the forward gets kind of almost by him he turns like like he pivots to take the man and that's that's how it should work in real life so he would pivot to take the man but then after that the the player who has the puck kind of turns back like towards the center of the ice and at that point, I get a little bit confused as to what the AI is doing, um, because I notice this in NHL 12 a lot. It's like the the computer has a complete like a completely legit opportunity to either take the body, a take the body, uh, b uses stick to like poke the puck or like stick lift or whatever, and like he just kind of stands there and skates beside him like a moving pylon. Um, so yeah, like the, again, the videos will be in the in the description there. You can take a look. So it's around seven minutes and twenty seconds. Just watch the defenseman who's taking the puck carry along the the right side boards there, and yeah, like completely. I don't really understand why why the defenseman gets like why they do that. Like I noticed that in NHL 12, it's like a guy will come through the middle, like, and the def the computer defenseman just doesn't do anything. Like, they don't attack the puck carry at all. They don't put pressure on them. They just kind of stand there, and they're, like, moving pylons pretty much because they don't get into the play. Like, they don't get active. Um, so, yeah, like, on that play, basically, the guy skates in, kind of quickly stops, like, just above the hash marks or out top of the circle and skates right to the slot. And the defenseman, who turns properly, like, he turns to take the guy, but then he just kind of doesn't take him. He just doesn't do a hit, doesn't do anything. And then he just kind of skates beside the, the puck carrier as the puck carrier skates towards the slot, which obviously would be a good scoring opportunity. So I don't know why he, I don't know. But so like, I hope that doesn't happen again this year. Like I'd like to see the defenseman AI actually like force a player without you having to actually take control of the defenseman to actually take the hit or, you know, make a play. Um, especially in like EA, SHL or like drop-ins or OTP, whatever you want to call it, club games. Um, yeah, like if your defenseman leaves, I don't want my def my computer defenseman to just kind of, you know, like skate beside the the puck carrier and not do anything, because um, that was a huge annoyance in this in NHL 12. So, um, so I don't know. Yeah, that's basically the only things that I really picked up out of the E3 videos. Like the the skating looks like solid. Um, again, it's just kind of like, oh, I wonder how. How the gap control and stuff's gonna work with defense? They're, I think they're gonna have to give defense a little bit more backward speed. Cause I mean, like I play hockey and I'm not even a defenseman, but I've been playing defense in my on my teams, uh, like on my team um, for like our beer leagues or whatever. And basically, like I can almost not that you know these are NHL caliber players, but like I can skate backwards almost as fast as they can forwards. Like obviously they have more momentum and they they can get by me, but and it's all about gap control and turning but I just feel like from what I've seen in these like uh, kind of presentations or like videos it's just like the defenseman doesn't look like he's fast enough but that's just my thoughts I don't know um, so yeah just watch the videos and leave comments below or whatever you guys want to do and rate the video that'd be awesome um, but yeah like I just I don't know um, it looks promising obviously and they still have a few months to, to tune it and, to, and whatnot but I just I don't want to see goalies diving around all the time, and I don't want to see the computer AI defensemen not taking guys because it's just ridiculous. I, like they're they're all like, oh yeah, they take them, and yeah, they skate beside them, but they don't actually do anything. Uh, so yeah, that's my rant <laughs> on the E3, and that was a, that's all the coverage they did. Apparently, we're supposed to stay tuned for more, but you know, I guess we'll find out. So again, uh, comment below, rate the video. And watch the E3 videos um, if you haven't already and just leave your comments and discuss. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Alright, thanks for watching guys.